Well, electronic cigarettes are becoming popular with adults trying to quit traditional cigarettes. We've been reporting on that, but a new CDC report on e-cig usage among kids has some lawmakers on Capitol Hill worried. And WEMY Washington correspondent Ted Fioraliso has the story. The war on tobacco is alive and well in the halls of Congress, and Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown is one of the lawmakers leading the charge. 450,000 Americans die every year from tobacco-related illnesses, so Big Tobacco understands they need at least 450,000 new customers, and where do they go? They go to kids. Over the years, laws have been passed to help prevent cigarettes from getting into the wrong hands. But now, Brown is turning his attention towards tobacco-free electronic cigarettes. We're afraid with these e-cigarettes that don't have any rules around them that they're going to, again, with their very sophisticated, highly paid executives and marketers, uh, figure out ways to get more kids addicted to these who then kind of a gateway drug, if you will, go into cigarette smoking at a young age. Brown and 11 other lawmakers sent this letter to several e-cigarette manufacturers asking them for information regarding the sale, distribution, labeling, and marketing of their products to children and teens. They cited a recent Centers for Disease Control report showing a dramatic increase in e-cigarette usage among youth. Yes, the popularity of e-cigarettes has grown among young people, but at the same time, the rates of smoking and the rates of initiation of smoking have gone way down. Elaine Keller is president of the Consumer Advocates for Smoke-Free Alternatives Association. She studied the CDC report and says the numbers could be misleading. The problem is they use the word use very loosely. You and I would think of something that's used frequently, customarily, daily. They are talking about ever use. Keller credits her e-cigarette usage, called vaping, for helping her quit cigarette smoking after 45 years. Right now, the Food and Drug Administration is in the process of deciding how it will regulate e-cigarettes. Keller hopes it won't impact her usage. We need regulations that are sensible and that don't um, impact the pricing so that they cost more than smoking. As for Brown, so I'm not advocating banning them, I'm just advocating they don't target children. In Washington, I'm Ted Fioraliso.